Hello, I'm uh, going to say a few words about an event that I'm doing at the Wembley Arena on October the 27th. Uh, the thought that I'd be speaking at the Wembley Arena 20 odd years ago when I couldn't walk down in any street in Britain without being laughed at by most of the people was almost unthinkable. But it shows what you can do if you don't give up, if you don't run away and hide when people are unpleasant to you, and when what you're saying has validity and thus with the passage of the years and events that validity is shown to be so. And it's that process that's taken me from a laughing stock to Wembley Arena and talking to thousands of people at a time around the world. And this validity has come from the fact that as my books predicted and explained in detail many, many years ago, we're facing a situation where while we go about our daily lives, or we go about surviving another week, another month with the rent and building our career, whatever, having our families and seeing them grow up and all the hopes we have for the future. All along, generation after generation, a network of families have been manipulating and directing this world and the world that those children and grandchildren must live in into a direction that would make George Orwell wince. That would make him shake his head and say, I underplayed how I said it was going to be because it's much worse than I thought. And you know, when you look at world events in isolation as dots, there's the pepper bombing of Libya, pepper bombing of whole cities of civilians and children on the pretext of protecting children and civilians from, from harm through violence. When you look at the state of the world economy and in Europe and America and around the world where people are increasingly losing their homes and livelihoods, when you see the people being cleared from the rural lands of America according to a specific plan which I've been long able to uncover and expose along with other people. And when you look at the shocking levels of basic freedoms and privacies that are now deleted by the day, almost by the hour, with the invasion of more and more surveillance, more and more uh, data surveillance, more and more impositions upon us through uh, the ever-expanding use of cameras and uh, even naked full-body scanners in airports and all this stuff. When you put that together, these are not isolated dots within a random world. If only, they'd be bad enough if it was like that. But it's not. It's coordinated. It's being directed to a specific end. And so what I'll be doing at Wembley is taking all these diverse subjects. This is why the event is over a whole day from uh, basically 10 o'clock in the morning to around 10 o'clock at night in four sections and like 1,500 images. There'll be music and lots of things involved. But the whole foundation of it will be to take uh, these apparently diverse, apparently unconnected subjects and areas of our daily lives and putting them together to show that they are actually strands in the same tapestry. They are links in the same chain, whatever analogy you want to use. And once that is done, 
layer upon layer upon layer, added to all the layers before, all the jigsaw pieces put into place so the picture becomes, whoa, so that's what's going on. I would doubt if anyone will leave that arena at the end of that day, the same person who arrived, and certainly with the same perception of the world self, because this is about perception of self too. We're not little me, we're not Joe Public, we're not I've got no power. That's what this control system wants us to believe so that we do not express the power that we have, not least in numbers. I would be staggered if anyone would leave the arena at the end of the night without a completely new perception of the world they live in and the self that they are. And this is vital at this time because we are in this mess and my goodness me, most people have no idea how deeply in the mess we already are in terms of this playing out of this Orwellian nightmare around us all the time. We're in this mess because of ignorance and because of the idea that even if we know something about what's going on, we have no power to change it. Well, Wembley, for anyone who's there, will remove the ignorance of what's going on in the world and it will also remove the myth, the ludicrous idea that we have no power to change it. It's a, a very, very important event to me. And I decided to do this because I wanted to get as many people together of like mind or open mind at the very least, together in one place to make a massive statement to the mainstream media and everyone else. Something's happening here, as the song said in the 60s. Well, the song said, what it is ain't exactly clear. Well, it is becoming more and more clear. People are beginning to awaken to the plight that we face and the conspiracy, the, the game that's being played around them all the time. And I wanted to get people together in large numbers to say, Things are changing. People are beginning to see what's happening to them. And we ain't having it anymore. And this, and for many other reasons, is why uh, we're putting this event on and why I think it has a massive contribution to make to the human awakening from the amnesia that we're put in from cradle to grave and uh, to what we need to do to bring an end to this nonsense so that the, I was almost going to say then, so the, the tail stops wagging the dog. But what we're facing in this world in terms of the numbers being manipulated compared with the numbers doing the manipulating, we are looking at a tail wagging an elephant. When we reverse that, it's all over. And that's what Wembley is massively designed to do. Hope you can be there. Thanks for listening.